this is Bishop Bob Coulter with another TM side word of encouragement for the week. This week, God led me to Proverbs 1 7, which says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord. In this verse, the word for fear means reverent trust, love, obedience towards Him. It is holy respect for who He is. He is the great I am. Always present, all knowing, the most powerful one. He's the one who created the universe and upholds it by his word. If one wants to get knowledge, let them go to the God who knows the beginning from the end. Do you have a problem that you need a solution to? God has given us his word in the Holy Spirit to give you the answers you need. Now, as Paul warns us in Ephesians 4, 7 through 19, he says, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being annihilated from the life of God, because of their ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their hearts. Now, we must stop listening to what the world is saying about the situation and start speaking of what the word of God says. We must not buy into the lies of the devil. Instead, we must search the word of God for the solution. Listening to the media propaganda will bring fear into your life and that fear will control your thinking. But the word of God will set you free and as you share it, it will set others free. Today's society has lost the fear of the Lord. They are like the Israelites as described the other judges. All the people did whatever seemed right in their own eyes. You know, people are walking in the futility of their minds and they cannot see this nation as close to total destruction. It's self-imploding. History shows us that many great nations like the Romans were not conquered by outside forces, but through their own moral decline. Our nation is in moral decline, and if we do not repent, God will bring judgment on it. Frankly, I believe that some of the natural disasters in the last few years is God trying to get our attention. The solution is to bring back the fear of the law to our nation. So if we want to see revival and reformation in our nation, it must stop with us, God's own people. We must have the fear of God in our life. Remember, there is no true knowledge apart from the fear of the Lord. All that pretends to be wisdom and ignores God is folly. One cannot gain knowledge of the spiritual things if he begins at the wrong point, refusing to fear the Lord. I.e., the fear of refusing to fear means to recognize God's character, respond by revering Him, trusting Him, worshiping, obeying, and serving Him. The essence of true knowledge is fearing God. Apart from him, a person is ignorant of spiritual things. This world is ignorant of spiritual things. It understanding is darkened, being annihilated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their hearts. We must bring the fear of the Lord back to the land. We are living in an era of Isaiah 60, 1 through 3, which says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. See, the darkness covers the earth, a thick darkness covers over the people. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and the kings to your brightness of your dawn. You and I are the ones who can make a difference. We are the church, and the church is the only institution with the spiritual authority to defend, to defeat the wiles of the devil. And, and we do that by restoring the fear of God in this nation. Let's take that godly knowledge given to us to go out and make disciples of Jesus Christ. Let our lifestyle show the fear of the Lord and advance God's kingdom in our sphere of influence. Praise God that he has called you for such a time as this. So go out in the fear of the Lord 
and share the good news of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed week. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.